A Fox 11 follow up tonight from New Holstein. Residents got their first look tonight at some plans to redevelop the former Tecumseh site. The city's been working on those plans basically since May, and the idea is that it would look at what could be done with the more than 40 dormant acres on Michigan Avenue. Tonight, Fox 11's Ben Crumholtz brings us the results of those efforts. New Holstein hasn't been the same since about 1,700 Tecumseh jobs left in 2007. Oh, it's been huge, there's no doubt about it. Tecumseh sold the property to Hoist Manufacturing, but it shut down in 2009. It's been lifeless ever since, but recently there has been new hope for the site. The former uh, manufacturing facility itself is not um, feasible to renovate and reuse. But there are certain structures that could possibly be saved. For the past four months, a group of planners has been working with the community on what it would like to see at the site. Using the public's input, the planners came up with this preliminary concept. You can see it includes a mix of agricultural research, residential, commercial, and green space. The plan is to incorporate the community's German heritage throughout the area. We have had interest from different companies that could actually contribute to this idea of having a craft, craft beer industry emphasis for the site. The goal is for the mix of uses to bring some jobs back to the area, although the number likely won't equal what Tecumseh provided at its peak. If you put all our eggs in one basket, of which we did in the past, we need to learn from that because we were so de dependent on one manufacturer that everybody said, oh, we don't need anything else. Planners say the next step in the process is to secure financing to start making some of the ideas a reality. In New Holstein, Ben Crumholz, Fox 11 News. As for the cost of the plan, the city paid for basically half of the $30,000 study that led to the plan that was unveiled tonight. The other half came from the state grant and the city's Economic Development Corporation.